Hi guys, I'm Sir John, celebrity makeup artist here with Alencia Lewis, Alencia Lewis hey. my beautiful model, and we sort of recreated one of the popular trends on the runway right now, which happens to be wine, but in a monochromatic format. I'm taking a pencil, and this pencil happens to be a lip pencil. I like convertible pieces that you can use for more than one thing. So I'm basically gonna saturate the lid all over from lash line to about the crease. And it can be super haphazard. It doesn't matter how you apply it. You can scribble all over the ball of the eye, but just make sure when you get to the crease, it fades away. The reason I like to use lip pencils for the eyes is because they're really emollient. That means they're hydrating. So if you notice, I'm taking my brush and I'm making sure everything dissipates away after the crease. And you really wanna make sure you blend, blend, blend into like nothingness because whatever you apply your eyeshadow on top of, it's gonna stick. We're gonna do the same exact thing underneath the eyes. So we're gonna create a bit of under eye smudgeage by taking this pencil. So we're gonna start right underneath the lash line, right where the lashes grow from. So mind you ladies, this is full on glamour, but if you work in a conservative environment, you can still embrace this with open arms by using a tinted eyeliner. So these liquid mattes that are ever so popular at the moment, I'm gonna use this as another base for our smoky eye. So the reason I like to use these matte liquid lips on the eyes, and I actually love to use them as cream blush as well, because they don't clog the pores, but they're also really beautiful on the eyes because they stay anchored to the skin for so long. If you notice, I'm using a big fluffy brush to apply. There's something that's gonna give us a really beautiful blend. So to make this eye even more impactful than it is now, we're gonna go for shadow. So we're gonna go and we're gonna start to deliver most of that product, the eyeshadow, right on the ball of the eye. And so if you notice, since I'm using a brush that happens to be stiffer, there's minimal fallout. So this is great for women who just don't have a lot of time. So now I'm gonna go for a brush that has no product. So this is like, there's zero product on the brush. So this is like my magic eraser. So I'm gonna use this brush to blend, blend, blend. Just to make sure there are no lines and everything has a beautiful wash. All right, so now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this eye and we're gonna go from zero to 60. I'm gonna show you how to clean up the eyes and sort of lift with concealer. I'm gonna tap a bit of concealer right underneath the eye, and then I'm gonna use a brush to blend this right into the eyes. And I like to use my ring finger. The ring finger is the weakest finger you have, so it's gonna pick up the least amount of product. Also, the good thing about using your fingers and your hands for your makeup application is the fact that your body heat changes the texture of your concealer, of your foundation. So it looks a bit more organic and lived in. A lot of people use concealer brushes or sponges for their application process. But I like to use a brush that happens to be fluffy and just like sort of almost like a, an eyeshadow brush. The concealer just dissipates away. So the reason I'm using this brush and the concealer after I put the eye on is because it starts to shape the eyes. And so also doing your concealer last is really great for mature women because if you think about it, the eyes shift and they change as we gain more experience, I like to say. And when that happens, you have to realize how to lift your eyes, lifting liners and a few extra tips or hacks that will start to bring a, a little light into an otherwise mundane makeup routine. All right, so I'm using my favorite mascara at the moment. And this is called, uh, it's by L'Oreal Paris, it's called Voluminous Lash Paradise. And you see this brush? This is legit, like, it's gonna get every piece of mascara on your lashes, give you a lot of separation and massive amounts of volume. Everybody wants volume. So what I'm doing is I'm doing like, almost like a stained lip, like she's been drinking wine all day. So it's gonna be more color in the center of the lip and it's gonna dissipate away to the the border. Don't be afraid to put a little bit of eye cream on your lips before you go in with lip color. Eye cream is not as oily as lip balm, so it won't change the texture of your matte lips. So last but not least, we're gonna take a little bit of the same exact lip color and gonna go directly onto the middle. So remember, it's almost like she sort of fell asleep drinking Merlot or some kind of good Cabernet. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of foundation with my fingers and we're gonna go in and start to just soften the lines so there is no definite line. So I'm gonna go and give her blush now. So blush happens to be like an afterthought. I want it to look like it's sort of lit from within. So I'm mixing a plum on the eyes with a bit of orange because she has a really beautiful like mocha complexion so she can stand a bit of orange. So we're gonna start to deliver it in a, the lower point of the apple and then just sweep our way up into the temples. And bring a little disco into the daytime by going here. This is very like Bianca Jagger slash uh, Grace Jones. It's really disco just to bring a little blush into the forehead. And boom, we're done, that's it. So thanks for kicking it with us today. I hope you guys like the look. So leave your comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say.